Hi, this is Mike Colescott, and I'd like to welcome you to another PFT Systems instructional video. In this video, we'll show you how to assemble our field attachable Cayman LB penetrator system. The Cayman provides a true positive barrier sealing system. It's fast to assemble and can be configured for hazardous locations. These are the tools you will need for assembly. A hacksaw, 10 snips, contact cleaner, utility knife or company approved cutting tool, high leverage cutters, sandpaper, flat file, scissors, side cutters, and a marker. Here are the Cayman components. Armor adapter inserts, minor body assembly, follower body wave spring, tri-boot cable seal, cable nose seals, gator grip contacts, major body assembly with solid peak insulator, socket head cap screws, grommet seal, protective cap, dielectric grease, high modulus tape, cut gauge, spanner wrench, and two Allen wrenches. Our solid peak insulator does not require potting compound or epoxy. The first step in the assembly is to grease the O-rings on the Cayman mandrel and insert it into the hanger until it shoulders out. If the hanger is fitted with a 3 inch pocket, remove the spacer sleeve by loosening the exterior set screw. Otherwise, the spacer sleeve should remain installed. Now hold the cable up against the side of the hanger. Use the cut gauge to mark the cable at 1 to 1.25 inches below the bottom of the penetrator. Then, using the hacksaw only, cut the cable at the mark and proceed with the assembly of the lower connector. Again, using the cut gauge, Measure and mark the armor at 3.75 inches for number 4 cable or smaller. If you are using a number 2 or larger cable, the armor strip back will be 6 inches. Note that for number 2 or larger cable, you may need to slightly squeeze the armor to help the minor body assembly drift over it. Now, carefully remove the armor. and secure in place by tightly wrapping two times around with high modulus tape. Slightly spread the three conductors and remove any tape and braid from each. Inspect the conductors for damage. If there is any damage, remeasure the armor and cut again. Now use the cut gauge to measure and mark each lead sheath or barrier at 1.75 inches. Strip back the lead sheath or barrier from each conductor. Be careful not to cut or damage the primary insulation. Then remove or smooth any burrs on the lead. For number one, seven strand devil lead cable, the lead cutback needs to be 2.5 inches. Inspect the leads for damage. If there is any damage, start again from the beginning. Once the leads are prepared, measure and mark the conductor insulation at the .68 insulation line on the cut gauge. Use your company approved cutting tool to strip back the conductor insulation on each leg. Pencil or taper the ends of the copper conductors and lightly abrade. Then, clean the conductors thoroughly before you proceed. Measure 1.25 inches back from the end of each conductor and make a mark on the cable. 
using the supplied high modulus tape and starting from the armor cut, tape each leg using a 50% overlap and half stretch. Make sure to end the tape straight up and down at the 1.25 inch tape line. Wrap backwards towards the armor cut and make sure the tape fully covers any exposed lead. Carefully cut and remove any excess tape. Then slide the minor body assembly down the cable until it seats on the armor strip back point or drifts completely past it. Then carefully bend the two outside conductors down and bend the center one up. Be careful not to stress or crack the lead barrier. The legs must be bent equally so the three together form a triangle that the seal will fit over. Check and make sure that the lead cuts, the insulation cuts, and the conductor ends of each leg are even with each other. Now clean the conductors thoroughly before you proceed. Apply a light coat of the supplied dielectric grease on each conductor. While holding the cable seal, make sure the legs are straight. Slide the seal assembly onto the three conductors until 3 8 of an inch of the cable insulation is exposed. Make sure the wave spring is oriented as shown. Slide the three gray cable seal noses over the insulation. Push until they rest against the face of the insulation. Use a contact cleaner to clean the exposed copper conductors and the gator grip contacts. Push a gator grip contact onto each conductor until it stops and is in contact with a gray cable seal nose. The contacts should fit snug and not have any play in them. Pull back the cable seal until it contacts each cable seal nose. Use a pen or marker to place a witness mark on the high modulus tape just behind the cable seal. Now let's complete the major body assembly. First, lubricate the OD of the cable seal assembly with the supplied dielectric grease. Then position the nose of the cable seal assembly to touch the back of the gator grip. Double check to make sure all conductors are still aligned. Hold the follower and the cable seal assembly securely. Slide the major body assembly onto the three gator grip contacts and the cable seal assembly. Check to make sure the witness mark you placed on the high modulus tape is still visible. Confirm the seal is not moved from the original location. Holding the downhole cable securely, gently tap the protective cap. Tap until the cable seal assembly is inside the major body assembly. Remove the protective plastic cap and insert the three long socket head cap screws into the front end of the major body assembly. Tighten them with a supplied Allen wrench. Alternate tightening each screw until they are all hand tight plus a half turn. Then gently pull back on the major body assembly to ensure the contacts are secure. Holding the major body securely, slide the minor body up, then thread it onto the major body until it shoulders out. For number four or smaller flat cable, use the two factory installed armor adapter inserts in the bottom of the armor adapter. For number two or larger cable, use the longer minor cable body assembly with the supplied adapter inserts. For round cable, the armor adapter will accommodate the cable without the inserts. Now loosen the pre-installed socket head cap screw. Then alternate tightening the two pre-installed set screws located top and bottom. 
Tighten these until the armor adapter plate contacts the armor. Then retighten the larger cap screw. Finally, using the supplied dielectric grease, lightly grease the OD of each nose on the grommet seal and insert it into the nose of the female connector. Reattach the protective cap until you are ready to install. The Cayman lower connector is now complete. PFT's engineering team brings together decades of industry experience to design and manufacture proprietary patented ESP connector systems. At PFT, we are committed to provide the best products and services in the industry. We have built our reputation by delivering proven, high-performance connector systems and providing faster infield response times than our competitors. So when you need proven, high-performance downhole technology for electric feed-through systems, remember, the good guys wear black. Choose the Black Gator Cayman LB Wellhead Penetrator from PFT.